Okay guys, before I start this video, let me tell you this. If ever, whenever someone subscribes to me and they have a channel themselves, I always check out to see, see what kind of channel they have. And <clears throat> I noticed this guy right here, Brado, B-R-A-I-D-O. And uh, he's got an amazing, amazing arcade. You guys gotta watch this video. Amazing man cave. Check out the game room. Okay. Looks like the guy's name is Shane Braid. This guy has an amazing, amazing arcade. He's been on YouTube for years and, and like, no one's discovered him. I mean, uh, this guy has 57 subscribers. I want you guys to check out this guy's channel. If anything, if you like big arcades, you gotta check out this guy's. At least check out this guy's video. But thanks for subscribing, Bredo. I'm gonna subscribe to you. Can you please make more videos? He's already got a lot of videos. But I want, I want to see more of this. I want to see more of this guy. Great, great arcade, buddy. Great. So what we're really gonna do in this video is I have a uh, brand new control panel overlay. And uh, we're gonna put a new control panel overlay on this joust. And this doesn't look like it's too bad. I think uh, sometimes when you peel these overlays off, most of the adhesive comes off with the sticker, or, or all or most of the adhesive stays on the wood or metal or whatever. But I think I might get lucky. From what I can see, it looks like most of the... I don't know, we'll have to find out when I really tear this down. But, uh, Joust 2, man. Um, I, I love new old stock overlays. It's, 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 really, uh, it's really important to me, but I can't find no new old stock overlay for this. I'm not really looking, unless, I'm, you know, when I go to an operator's warehouse, which are, which are kind of drying up now, when I go to an operator's warehouse, first thing I ask is, circuit boards, overlays. And, and it used to be, operators just didn't care at all. Yeah, here, take my crap. But uh, now, everything's getting expensive or disappearing entirely. But, uh... So anyways, I have a, I believe new, uh, this old game makes it, they did a great job with the artwork. The artwork looks beautiful, but it's a slightly different material. This is kind of a thicker, heavier material. And the stuff from this old game, it's thinner, on this, on this example, um, it's a little thinner, but, um, well, at least the artwork is exact. I'll tell you that. But, uh, I, I like, I like the thick, I like the thick old overlays. I, I like to, the look of, it looks like maybe that was never worked on before. That's what I like. But, uh, well, let me take off this control panel and let's get at it. Here's the panel. Just gonna kind of test it out, what I could do with this. Ooh, this might not be too bad. I see the adhesive is staying. But, first thing, first things first, let's... Strip this sucker, and uh, as usual, before I strip anything, I'm gonna label it. So we zoom in here. I'm gonna put an F here for flap. I'm gonna put a one here for one player, and let's see here. My F, there's a one, and over here I'm going to put an F, and over here I'm going to put a two for two player. So I guess over here I'm going to put a two. And over here, I'm going to put a one. That should be enough for me to for me to find it. Well, let's uh, let's strip this sucker, huh? Okay, I'm about five minutes into it. <clears throat> I uh, can't find a razor blade, so 
Looks like I'm picking at it. But it's still coming pretty easy. I mean, I mean, you know. Bam. Ha! Ah, I hate that. When you get it, it goes right underneath your fingernail. But we're working on it. It's gonna be a you know what? It can be honest. If I'm if I'm this far in like maybe maybe ten minutes. I'm like this far. This isn't this isn't too bad. I have seen a lot worse. Well let me keep picking. I got it all off. That wasn't so bad. It's covered in adhesive. Not bad. Look at all this. All this mess right here. Well, I'm going to clean up a little bit and let's chemically remove this adhesive. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some paper towels. I'm going to unroll it. And I'm going to stick it across the entire panel right onto the adhesive. Okay. Right onto that adhesive. And do it back here too. So now the entire thing is covered in paper towels. Then I'm going to get some xylene. It's actually pronounced xylene. And well, I got a funny one for you. This guy, uh, so, so made a comment to me and he says, uh, I said the word Gauss before when I was talking about a uh, unit of magnetism. Uh, in other words, to de-gauss a monitor. There's so many Gausses in a Tesla and so on. Well, anyways, he says, you pronounced Gauss wrong. Well, no, I pronounced Gauss correct. It's pronounced Gauss. I think he wanted me to say gauze or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some xylene onto, I like to say xylene, it just, it, it just needs to, it just, it should say xylene, but it's pronounced xylene. Anyways, I'm going to get some xylene on this and then we're going to let it sit for, I don't know, five minutes. Well, I got me a shot glass and filled it with some xylene and uh, got my gloves on, kind of just smoothed it all around. Uh, <clears throat> Let's sit for about five minutes now. Now I'm going to take off all these paper towels. And uh, depending on your adhesive, sometimes if you, if you let it sit and dry this way, you can peel it all off. Right now, ooh, look at that. Bam. That's beautiful. I can't even touch the camera now. Ah. But yeah, see this goop? But yeah. Okay. Oh, Kelly. Okay, can you mess with the camera? Yeah. Zoom in, zoom in. My beautiful wife. It's a little better. See, that's bare wood right there. Not too bad. Bunch of boogers. <laughs> over here, over here, camera. Pan right. See, I'm just getting this stuff off. Alright, shut the camera off. I'm just going to keep on doing this and, uh, We'll get it off. Actually, I'm probably going to get some paper towels and kind of wipe it off. But there goes my adhesive. I got to turn on the side here. I'm just, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like a plastic putty knife. And I'm kind of just going to scrape it, but just thought it was kind of cool. You can see it coming right off. Now, some control panels, some adhesives do best with acetone. Some adhesives do best with xylene some just I don't know what the I don't know what the magic trick is 
You're just gonna have to scrub and scrape. Zoom up here, zoom up here. Sometimes you just gotta scrape at it. But, uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and finish taking this crap off. <clears throat> okay, I used the uh, uh, scraper. Actually, I used an old piece of perf board. I don't know where any of my stuff is. But, uh, yeah, that worked as, pretty, as a pretty good scraper. Anyways, so I put more, more xylene on. And uh, I'm going to let it soak here. And let's see if I can do this on camera here. I mean, this stuff, I mean, after you scrape the majority of it off, it just kind of wipes off. I mean, it's it's gone. Well, oh, come on, there's a few little spots here. But that's bare wood I'm touching. That's not uh, adhesive. Countertop's a mess. Well, there's some spots here. See some more boogers around here. And I have booger over here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me wrap this up and uh, I'll come back and show you the next thing to do. Okay, all the goop is gone. But I'm still going to wipe it down with some acetone. And the reason why is because acetone evaporates quickly and it'll make this xylene dry very quickly. I don't want to put an overlay over an oily piece of wood. So, acetone's going on. Man, that's like literally dry right now. But, you know, this also will help clear up any of those boogers. Any remaining leftover ones, I don't see any ones in the cracks. Looking beautiful though. Okay, <clears throat> Williams uh, control panels have a divot right here and right here on the very bottom. Okay, it's also on the top. Okay, and um, the original overlay is uh, the original overlay is more is a it's a stiffer overlay than the new than the replacement overlay that, that I'm going to put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some automotive body filter filler and hardener, um, like Bondo, okay. And I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to fill these in because the new overlay isn't is uh, as stiff as the original. I'm just going to kind of cake this in a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, the overlay is is somewhat forgiving already. But there's that side. And here's the other side. Kind of cake it in there. Yeah, um, if I didn't fill this in uh, with a new, thinner, more flimsy overlay, you'd be able to push it in and feel those divots. Whereas the original overlay was a pretty stiff overlay. So let me give this about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes uh, to cure. You know, at first I'm going to give it maybe five minutes, and then I'm going to razor blade off what, what's, uh, what's here. Because with Bondo, in about five minutes it starts to set up and it's like rubber and at that point you can get a razor blade and actually razor blade it off smooth 
And then after about 10, 15 minutes, it, it turns to like a rock. So uh, there's, there's a window of opportunity where I can do, work it easily and cut with a razor blade flush before it sets up totally hard. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's starting to set up here. I'm going to get my dull old razor blade. Just going to cut. Oh, you know, that's okay. The surface area is smaller. There's a little spot, but the uh, the surface area where the where the uh, divot is is much smaller, so I trust that. Better than nothing there at all, which is what which is what Williams did, but I don't want to trust it. <laughs> okay. And that's that. You know what? I might go back and on the other side and just put a little turret in there just because. But that's that. I went over that spot just because. Found a better razor blade too. Oh jeez. I uh didn't wait long enough. I'm gonna put more bondo over here again. You know what? I'm gonna let it go. I know it's fine. Bugs me though. But here's this side. A little better okay so I'm gonna give this a very light sand I really don't even need to Oop, I just put a booger on there I'm gonna give this a really light sand just because and I'm gonna hit it with some rubbing alcohol and then I'm gonna go down and I'm going to paint it white now the reason why I'm gonna paint this white is because I actually put this same overlay on a buddy's uh, machine just recently on his Joust 2. And um, this is one of those overlays that's kind of see-through. And uh, you could you could kind of see, I mean, it, 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 it ended up looking nice, but you could kind of see where the bubbles were and everything. And if you paint it white, it will kind of make light colors pop. If you paint it black before you stick the overlay on, it will make the dark colors stay dark. You know what I mean? So, uh, with these thinner overlays that you can kind of see through, I like to kind of paint it first. I hate to paint, I'm going to make sure there's, I don't get any paint overspray on the sides, so it still looks original. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to paint it first. You know what, before I go down there and paint it, I'm going to get all these buttons and stuff, and I'm going to put them in a cup, and the joystick tabs, or you know, the joysticks, and uh, normally if I had Mean Green handy, I had to use that, but I'm going to get some dish soap, go real heavy on it, get some hot water in there, and, you know, kind of let this stuff soak for a little bit.
There's the hot. And I'll come back to that. At least it'll soak somewhat. Back in my dungeon basement here again. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit this with some Rust-Oleum White. Just to change the color. I'm not going to go nuts here. You know what I mean? Looks like my tip is getting clogged. Definitely a clogged tip. Scrape it with my thumbnail a little bit. Yeah, I got a clogged tip. Stupid paint. Let me unclog the tip. You know what, instead of unclogging the tip, I just got the tip off an empty can of black. I'm just doing a light, light coat. This is not, you're not going to see this. It's just to make everything the same color, somewhat, before that overlay goes on. Also, I'm trying not to get any paint on the sides. You know what? That's fine. We got it. Okay, let me let that sit and dry. I'm going to go upstairs and watch an episode of Family Guy. And, uh, I'll be back. You know what? Before I go up there, let me say one thing. Get your can, put it upside down, and spray until, it, until the, what comes out turns clear. That's what I should have done. But uh, what that does is it just shoots out some of the gas instead of the paint to kind of clear your nozzle a little bit. Okay, it's dry. Maybe just a hair tacky, but it's fine. Um, so, I got my overlay here from Rich Graphics. And uh, I love that new old, that, uh, that brand new overlay smell. It's kind of like a new car. But, uh, this is not a die cut overlay. So, I'm going to kind of lay it down and kind of like feel out where the holes are. And then I'm going to clamp it or hold it down really well. And then I'm going to lay it down. Okay, I kind of lined it up and I kind of felt where the holes are. That's about where, where I think it should be. Um, I already went ahead and I ripped off some of the overlay, some of the backing on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. And let go, Kelly. I'm going to send my boy up into the bathroom so he can get me a towel. Because I don't like to lay a new overlay on this hard surface. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and peel the rest of this backing off.
A lot of times you'll get these overlays. And <clears throat> they're actually, there's gonna be a lip on each side. A little bit of a lip because they make the, they purposely make the overlays larger than, than you need. And I guess that's for, that's the, so you can have a margin of error. I don't like it, but I'd rather have it exactly the right size. But I guess it's better to have a lip in case you screw up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a razor blade and I'm going to trim off the edges here. I have this old, I need to get some new razor blades. But here's that. Let me get the other side. Now they uh, made this area right here longer and it's kind of hard to fold it over. So I'm going to get a hair dryer to heat up this glue a little bit. Okay, it's all on. I have uh, this dull, terrible razor blade, but at least get it cut here. See, this is why I like die cut overlays because this is a little off. But oh well. Well, it's all back together. Let's put it in the game. Well, there it is. It looks beautiful. Looks like brand new. Uh, I'm really thankful for companies like This Old Game and Arcade Shop and so on that are selling all these parts for us, for guys like me, so we can get our machines looking brand new again. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to paint this thing. It's it's kind of rough. Luckily, luck, luckily, Joust 2 takes the same stencil as Joust 1. It's just different colors. But, uh, hey, if you like uh, what you see, subscribe. Um, and click on one of these videos, and I'll show you some more stuff.